Hi, I'm Henry Lin, a product manager for GeForce here at NVIDIA. Today I'm going to show you how to install G-Sync into your ASUS VG248QE monitor using a DIY kit. We want to highlight that this modification kit is only compatible with one particular model, the ASUS VG248QE monitor. We strongly recommend that you are technically skilled with system modification, and please familiarize yourself with the installation video and instructions before proceeding. So now, let's begin. You want to first place your monitor on a very clean surface so it doesn't scratch the screen. And uh, make sure that you have a screwdriver and the plastic shim that comes with the kit. Now, when you look at the bottom of the monitor, you'll see two little edges here. That's where you want to start. You want to pop in your screwdriver, pop it open. Uh, basically start unlocking unhinging the frame from the stand. Now, when you first do it, it might take you a little bit of a try, but, um, and it sometimes helps with two screwdrivers. Just make sure when you do this, you don't scratch or damage the frame. You don't want it to look not pretty. The shim will help you guide it through. So you just work your way around. Carefully lift up. This is the stand. Just put this on the side. You'll need it later when you reinstall. Okay, so now next step, what you want to do is uh, use the Sharpie, find a Sharpie, and mark all the edges where the metal frame, metal chassis, touches the LCD. The reason why we're doing this is we're going to be removing this whole metal part off. You want to make sure you put it back in the right place. Next step is you want to remove this plastic tape and then put it in a place where you can get it, use it later. I just put it right here so I don't forget. And what you want to do is you want to disconnect two cables, here and here. So you want to kind of disconnect this here, disconnect this by wobbling it. Next, you want to disconnect your audio over here. And disconnect this right here. We have one more thing here on the other edge. You want to lift up this metal tape. Okay, and disconnect this cable right here. Okay, so now this, this metal is really just connected by three different tapes. So we'll go and carefully remove it. Just flap it open. One more over here. One more over here.
This is why it's really important to mark where those edges are because essentially what we're doing now is we're lifting it up. Okay, now move this away. You have this component here. So now you want to remove the insulator, pop that off, use a Phillips screwdriver, and unhook these two screws here for the display port and HDMI, as well as unscrew the monitor here. So now, pop one off. Up another. You're going to need pliers probably just to get it unhooked and then just use your fingers. Okay, now going back up top, there are one, two, three, four, five. Just remember. This fifth screw is a little different from the rest, and it has to be close to the power connector. Last one. The other thing you want to make sure you do is to remove the shielding. Pop off like this. So now we're ready to remove the PCB from the chassis. Okay, so now put this in the center. We need to reuse some of those cables. Put this on the side. What we want to do is just basically take these three parts from the old board and put it into the new board. Okay, now set this aside. Now for this, we want to reuse the cables that we had just taken apart. There's a black side to the connection and a silver side to the connection. And you'll see that there's notches over here. And these notches should be on the outside of the board. So what you want to do is you want to turn it so you face the black side here. And you want to twist so that the notches fit into the board. So what happens is when you push it down this way, you get the silver connector. So now, bring the chassis back here. We're basically going to remove this metal post. We're going to use pliers to rock it back and forth and pull it out. Then you'll need some sort of air compressor or towel just to make sure that there's no more metal pieces from this uh, breakage. But typically it's a pretty clean break. So here we go. Lock it back and forth. Here it cut. There you go. Just use a spray can. Make sure everything's good. So now that we've removed the post, we're going to put in our G-Sync module and the board into the chassis. So there's two ledges here. You just want to make sure it slides in, sits in, and then you pop it down. Next, you want to align it so the holes for the screws are done. And screw them in with a Phillips screwdriver. So remember you have that 
silver one at the power area. Okay, so there are some openings here that needs to be filled. In the kit, we've included this metal cover. Uh, what you want to do is push down the PCB just a little bit so you make sure that the, the holes align. And you use one of the screws that you had from before. Okay, there you go. Next thing, there's a cover that you need uh, to cover the power. And all you have to do is just pop it in place. So now that we've secured the PCB onto the chassis, it's time to put it back in. So we start by putting the insulator, notch it back into the, these four notches. Bring back our LCD screen. Position it so that the connectors here, the power and the logic are aligned. And find those four corners that you had marked earlier. Now, first we connect, do this connector. Slide it in, connect it, slide it in, push to connect. Realign those four corners and pop in the tape. Before you tape it over, you want to connect the backlit cable to the input connector. There's two of them. One says J2, the other one says J1. You want to put it into the J1 connector. Use the tape. Just tape the chassis down. The final one is uh, a little tricky. Uh, you might need a, a, an additional shim tool to help you out with it, but you're basically putting the blue flex cable into a connector where you have to reach down. So now if you look carefully, there's a brown flap that needs to flap up. You slide that blue connector in and flap it down. So it's lifted up. Slide it in, push it down, okay? Now, pan out, uh, just make sure it's a tight connection. The last step is to take the tape off that you had originally and secure this cable. All you have to do is just put the frame and the stand back. Uh, easy way to figure out which alignment is right is you look at the buttons. So this is the bottom of the LCD screen. Start with one edge. Close it down. You're clicking. So now we have the final test. Plug in the power, plug in the display port, put it on. Push the power button. Find the menu button, press it, and look on the upper left-hand corner. You'll see NVIDIA G-Sync monitor. And that's it. So now we just went through how to make your ASUS VG248QE monitor G-Sync ready. So go to GeForce.com for more information and updates on G-Sync in the near future.